in this video, we are going to prove the theorem of touching circles. Touching circles. In uh, figure 1, the circle with center A and the circle with center B touch each other at point C. Point C is called point of contact. They are externally touching circles. The center of the smaller circle is outside the larger circle. Line L is tangent to both circles at point C. In figure 2, the circle with center A and the circle with center B touch each other at point C. Point C is called point of contact. They are internally touching circles. The center of the smaller circle is the within or inside the larger circle. Line L is the tangent to both circles at point C. We are going to prove in this video that the point of contact whether the two circles touch each other externally or internally lies on the line joining their centers. This is the theorem we are going to prove. Let me read the theorem. If two circles touch each other, then the point of contact lies on the line joining their centers. The theorem can also be stated as follows. If two circles touch each other, the point of contact and the centers of the circles are collinear. For our given, circles with the centers a and B touch each other at point C. Prove points A, C, and B are collinear, meaning they lie on the same line. If we can prove that point C lie on the same line where points A and B lie, then we are also able to prove that point C lies on the line AB. We are going to prove the theorem using a two-column proof. In the first column, we are going to write the statements and in the second column, the corresponding reasons. For our first statement, we write the given data, circles with the centers A and B touch each other at point C. The reason, of course, given. Statement number two. Line L is tangent to both circles with the centers A and B at point C. This is the line L. It is tangent to both circles at point C. And the two circles touch each other externally. This is line L. It is tangent to both circles at point C. And the two circles touch each other internally. The reason, if two circles touch each other at one point, they will have one common tangent at that point. 
statement number 3, segment AC or radius AC is perpendicular to line L at point C. And segment BC or radius BC is perpendicular to line L at point C. The reason, if a line is tangent to a circle, then it is perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact. So if uh, line L is perpendicular to radius AC because it is tangent to the circle at point C, then radius AC is also perpendicular to line L. In the same way, if uh, line L that is tangent to the circle at point C is perpendicular to radius BC, then radius BC is perpendicular to line L at point C. Statement number four. There is exactly one line perpendicular to line L through point C. The reason, through a point on a given line, there is exactly one line in the plane perpendicular to the given line. In statement number three, we said that radius AC is perpendicular to line L at point C. And radius BC is also perpendicular to line L at point C. The line perpendicular to line L at point C cannot be different from the line on which points A, C, and B lie. Otherwise, there will be more than one line perpendicular to line L at point C. According to this statement, through a point on a given line, there is exactly one line in the plane perpendicular to the given line. Therefore, we can now say that points A, C, and B are collinear. The reason Definition of collinear points. According to the definition of collinear points, three or more points are collinear if they lie on the same line. So, point C lies on the line AB.